I'm Annika Johnson, Associate Curator of Native American Art at the Joslin Art Museum. Today, I'll share a bit with you about a curatorial project that I'm working on for the museum's Durham Gallery, which features 19th century artwork of the Upper Missouri River region. Right now, I'm researching and selecting a few works to rotate into this gallery, and I'm especially excited about a bear claw necklace that was probably made around the 1850s. It's made of long grizzly bear claws, glass bead spacers, and it's wrapped with otter fur. This object has a really incredible presence, and it was probably worn by someone with authority, as it would demonstrate their strength and leadership and evoke the majesty of the grizzly bear. Bears appear in Native American oral tradition and various art-making practices that together demonstrate a complex relationship that humans have with these powerful relatives. Many different tribes living along the Missouri River made grizzly bear claw necklaces in the 1800s. This region was part of the grizzlies' once massive habitat, though their populations declined drastically as a result of the colonization of the plains region. Native men often wore bear claw necklaces in diplomatic portraiture. We have a great example of this at Joslin. In 1822, the Oto leader, Shimonicus, or a prairie wolf, wore a bear claw necklace when he sat for this portrait painted by Charles Bird King. King painted numerous portraits of Native American diplomats during their visits to Washington, D.C. in the 1820s and 30s. The Oto leader's bear claw necklace, split horn headdress, and a presidential peace medal conveyed different messages to Native and non-Native viewerships. And as I continue researching collection items for the upcoming rotation, I hope that cross-cultural dialogues will emerge.